Hi everyone. So in the last lesson, we learned about the binomial expansion. We learned what it was all about and how to fully expand a binomial. In this lesson, we're going to look specifically at how to find a specific term. This is probably the more this is the more likely question that you would get in an exam. Um, but I think knowing how to fully uh, how to fully expand it, well, you could be asked that, but it certainly is essential to you understanding the whole thing. Um, I've deliberately here chosen quite a difficult example again, reason being, if you can do this, you can pretty much do any of them. Now, um, I told you in the last lesson that we're going to use this part of the formula when finding a specific term. So we're going to be focusing on this part of the formula in this lesson. I'm going to show you two methods. One method is my method. Let's call this method one. Um, Mr. Flynn. Let's say the Mr. Flynn way. And then the second the second method I'll show you is the kind of more technical mathematical way. Now there's absolutely nothing wrong with my way. In fact, I recommend you doing it this way. Um, it just requires a little bit of not guessing, but the word I like to use is deducing, deducing what to do. And look, I, I'll explain it. I'll explain what I mean by that as I do it. So it says find the term in x to the 25 in the expansion of x squared minus 2x all to the power of 23. Okay, I'm going to go straight to this, this part of the formula. So it's n choose or. So it's 23 23 choose or now I don't know what or is so I'm going to put a, a box the first term is remember we, we do bracket bracket so the first term is x squared so I put a bracket and x squared and I'm now going to put a box there because it's to the power of something I don't know what the power is and then the second term is negative 2x and I'm going to put a box here because I don't know what that is to the power of Okay, now it says find the term in x to the power of 25. Look, this is hard for a number of reasons. One, I've picked, I picked large, I've picked large numbers like 25 and 23. Two, I've put a negative in there. And three, I have an x above the line and below the line. And this is to the, this is x squared. Now, maybe the first thing you'd think of is right, right, let's go with, um, you want the term in x to the 25, let's put 25 here. Well, that's certainly wrong for many reasons. These two, these two boxes have to add up to 23. So they always add up to 23. That's why you have you've 23 and 0, or 22 and 1, or 21 and 2, or 20 and 3. They always add up to, to they always add up to n, which in this case is 23. So I need these two to add up to 23. But Let's let's say I put 23 and 0 in there. If I put 23 and 0, what happens is this actually becomes x to the power of 46, which is not 25. So that's definitely wrong. What if I put 20 what if I put 22 and 1? Well, this is now x to the 44 and this is x to the 1 which is underneath the line. So what happens is you've your 44 and you end up so it's x, it's x to the power of 44 over x to the power of 1. Now forget about the negative and the 2 for a second. I just want to find that I, I need to find that x to the 25. Is that going to give me x to the 25? No, it's going to give me x to the 43. So it can't be that. So it's not 22 and 1. What if it was um, 20? What if it was 20 and 3? Well, that would give me 40 minus 3, which is 37. No. And now let's jump down a bit. And this is what I mean by deducing. And look, we're kind of guessing, but it's not, this isn't really guessing. It's, it's, well, it's deducing. It's, it's figuring out um, rationally what's going on. So I'm going to, I'm going to jump down now to, um, let's go to, let's go to 15 and 8. Imagine if I put, if I put 15 there, and 8 there, because 15 plus 8 is 23. So if I put 15 and 8, I'm going to get 2 times 15 is 30, minus 8, which is 22. 
right I'm close so I went down too far let's let's try 16 and 7 now if I put 16 and 7 there I'm gonna get x to the power of 32 minus 7 is 25 so that is I have chosen the correct powers and that look that is the hard part of the whole process done once I have 16 and 7 I've got it this I'm gonna make 7 I could I can actually make it either it can be 16 or 7 but look um, they have b to the power of r so that's r so 7 but 23 choose 16 is the same as 23 choose 7 remember Pascal's triangle is symmetrical and now I just have to um, multiply all this out so I'm gonna get um, 23 choose 7 so I need to do menu probability combinations 23 choose 7 so it's 23 comma 7 press enter and it is as I said I chose a difficult question 245,157 so 245157 that's just this how many ways can I choose 7 out of 23 this is now x to the power of 32 so this is x to the power of 32 let's put that in a bracket and this is negative 2 to the power of 7 is 128 and it's over x to the power of 7 so I've done 2 to the power of 7 I've done x to the power of 7 and negative to the power of 7 is going to give me the negative this then equals negative I need to multiply that by 128 my word this is getting big so I'm going to do multiply by 1 2 8 so I have 3138 0096. 3138 That is the um that is the coefficient, and then it's x to the 32 over x to the 7, which I knew and I know is going to give me x to the power of 25. It says find the term in x to the power of 25. That is it. That is the term that is the term in x to the power of 25 so if you're lucky I didn't ask you to expand this whole thing out because if you did that would just have been one of the terms okay so that's method one Mr. Flynn's way method two is the slightly more technical way and you can choose I have no problem if you prefer to do it this way so what we do is we say it's um, 23 choose r we say x squared to the power of now it's it is here so it's n minus r which is 23 minus r so this is going to be 23 n minus r and this the second term is negative 2 over x so here it is so it's negative 2 over x and this is to the power of r and the key to the whole thing is to find r. What is r? I found it here. It was 7 by doing this little thing. The way we're going to find r in this situation is we're going to say, right, let's look at the x's. So this is x, just looking at the x part of it. x to the power of um, 2 times this. So 2 times 23 is 46. Minus 2 times r is minus 2r. So that um, times x to the negative r, because look, this is x to the power, because it's underneath the line, that's x to the power of negative 1. So this would be times x to the power of negative r. And this has to equal x to the power of 25, because we're trying to find the term in x to the 25. So it's like saying, what? let's find the r that gives us this. So this is 46. Um, I can, I'm going to add the powers because this is a law of exponent. Law, the first law is a first law of exponents. 46 minus 3r equals 25. Then 3r equals 
um, 46 minus 21 or minus 25, which is 21, and then R equals seven. And once you have R equals seven, then you just go into this step here. Uh, R is seven, R is seven, uh, 23 minus seven is 16, and then you're here, and I'm not gonna repeat that again. So look, I, but my advice would be to try it this way, and if you really, really get stuck, or you can't do it, then go down to this way. But I find this is, um, this ends up being more a more challenging way to do it because they never give you, they never give you, they, they're never gonna give you something worse than this. And I figured this one out without too much trouble. Now, fair enough, I'm the teacher, but I'm sure you can do it as well. If you have to, if you have to do them all, start with, do 23 and zero, 22 and one, 21 and two, um, 20 and 23 and uh, three, and just keep going until you kind of get the hang of it. You can, and you can start to jump down or whatever. Okay, that's the binomial expansion. Pretty much every single year, almost always in paper two, uh, it comes up. It's normally a question like this, find the term um, in this, or sometimes it's like they give you, they say, find two terms, and then they say, make them, one, one is twice as big as the other, so you have to form an equation and solve it that way. Um, sometimes they say, find the term, and sometimes they say, find the coefficient. If they say, find the coefficient of x to the power of 25, then it's just this that they want, the negative 3138096. Okay, see you in the next lesson.